happy friday welcome back to another five weekly favorites we are a little out of breath we just filmed to get ready with me and it is so long we had to do two parts because it was telling you all about our previous job history and not like in a brief way like we yeah. went in depth because we we, talked, we we find those things interesting to know like what we like and didn't like of each job yeah and we had like we've each had over 20 jobs oh my god so much but anyway so here we are First up is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. I think this lives up to the hype. I know it's got a lot of controversy mm -hmm. right now, but I love this. I feel like it, I like it because you can kind of separate your lashes with the side and then you go in with like the side, the flat side with all the bristles to build up the volume. So it gives you both separation and volume, which, and it definitely lifts. Like if you curl your lashes beforehand, it really like cements them yeah. up. So I really love this. It's really black. It's it's just good. I know some people said it flaked on them. It hasn't been doing that on me. It so. flaked on me, but only after I've had the tube for a little bit. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, we are obsessed. Yeah. Um, this is the Sephora collection Sheer Matte Lip Balm in the shade Fuchsia. Uh, I guess I can just like yeah. swatch it on the back of my hand. It's kind of like a berry. It's like a pink berry. Yeah, we can do a real um, putting it on too. But. Yeah, but... Oh my god, this formula is so good. It is like really waxy. It smells like old school lipstick. Yeah, but there's it's, no like fragrance. It's waxy, um, but it's comfortable. It's yeah. like, it is matte, but it has a little bit of a sheen and a little bit of emollient, so it's not like drying out your lips. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect amount of like medium pigmentation. It's kind of like a sheer lipstick. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm, I wish I liked more of the colors. I might buy the pink shade. I like, kind of like the chocolate shade. Um, and then we swatched tan in store and it just felt a little too like yellow mm -hmm. and not like, I don't know, but, um, I do like other colors, but I wish there was like, you know how Sephora collection sometimes has like 20 plus shades and a lip range. Like I wish they yeah. did that with these cause I want a red. Yeah. I want a red. That would be perfect. Um, it's such a good formula, you guys. $10. Like just go get it. Yeah. Okay. And I bought this silk scrum scrunchie on Amazon. It was around like $10 and I've been using it to put my hair up when I do my Velcro rollers. So you basically just put your hair up on the top of your head. I only wrap it around twice, so it's still pretty loose. And then I do the four rollers and let it down and this is what you get. Um, but I like that it doesn't leave a crease in my hair. Of course, I'm only wrapping it around twice. If I did three times, I think it might. But I like that the silk is supposedly like good for your hair and I feel like this price is really good and it's a pretty like, kind of like a soft brown color. So wanted to mention that. Okay, I got these. They're like, I don't know what they're called. I'll link them down below. Oh, heel grip. So there's like a nude and black colors because I got these shoes on Depop and I love them. They're Vagabond loafers, so like really good quality, but they were a little too big because they're UK sizes, so they don't really have like half sizes. So I put the black one in the base of the shoe and it just adds like a, it's, well, it makes it really comfortable, number one, because they're kind of cushiony, but then it just takes up space if your shoe's a little too big. Um, and now I have like a whole pack. I feel like if I have shoes that ever give me blisters, you could just put them in there. They just sort of like look like this and they seem to stick really well so far. So I really didn't know these existed and yeah. now I'm like happy I have them. And they work like a charm, like I said, in the black shoes that I have. And then last up is our show favorite. So we started shrinking on Apple TV. Mm -hmm. We haven't really ever watched anything on Apple no. TV, but we saw the billboards everywhere. We love Jason Siegel and Harrison, Harrison Ford. Ford. So Jason Siegel plays, well, they both play therapists at um, a practice in Pasadena and Harrison Ford seems to be like the senior guy there. Mm -hmm. There's also a girl that works with them. So there's three of them total in the practice and Jason Siegel loses his wife. So this is, seemingly like a year after she died. Mm -hmm. I don't exactly, they don't really go into the time frame. He has a teenage daughter, but he's still like grieving really hard. And he just becomes this psychological vigilante. And so he's telling all of his patients like the hard truths that they need to hear, which you're not supposed to do as a therapist. You're kind of supposed to have them like figure it out on their mm -hmm. own. But he is kind of over that type of learning or teaching and so he's telling them the hard truths and then it kind of backfires in some instances but overall it's so good like it'll make you laugh it'll make you cry yeah the show it's amazing we love it so far it's on fridays mm -hmm. okay i think that's everything for this weekly favorites and we'll see you guys next week